Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to make you understand bobsleigh a lot better. So what I'm going to do is cover all the topics on bobsleigh, and even if you've been playing the game for a while now, I'm sure there will be one or two things that you still didn't know. So let's get into the video. The most important thing by far on bobsleigh is the entries into the bobsleigh. If you have an entry into a bobsleigh that's a tiny bit wobbly, you will lose a ton of speed. Something that's also really good to know if you want to be fast on bobsleigh is to know when to wiggle and how to wiggle on bobsleigh. So everyone that plays Trackmania knows that Trackmania tried to fix wiggles, but they did not fix the wiggles on bobsleigh. And some people might think that you have to use the new wiggles on bobsleigh, where you tap right two times and then left two times and it's a little bit complicated. But on bobsleigh, you don't have to worry about that, you can just use the old wiggles. And if you're new to the game, the old wiggles are holding left a little bit and holding right a little bit, hold left a little bit, and you basically wiggle back and forth. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's not that hard either, so if you just practice it for a tiny bit, you will 100% learn it in not too long. And the situations where you want to do wiggles is in between two bobsleigh turns, or in the exit of one bobsleigh turn. And if you see two bobsleigh turns that are after each other like this, which is pretty common, then you can do the wiggles. And the reason why wiggles work is because when you're going from one side of the bobsleigh to the other side, you're going downwards. So basically in wiggles, you're using that the downwards momentum to do a wiggle to go even faster. And when you get that downwards momentum, you can carry that momentum and do more wiggles after that. Hopefully this made you understand wiggles a lot better. So not all bobsleigh turns are calculated how do you enter a turn when it's not calculated? The way you enter a bobsleigh turn when it's not calculated, which basically means that you have to enter the turn in the middle of the turn, like this for example. You see, if I enter the turn like this, this will never work. So what you need to do is keep your car horizontal to the turn. So if you manage to keep your car horizontal to the turn, they will always work out. In this way, you will never start wobbling or flip around when using this technique. It does not matter how high you need to go on the wall, you will always end up straight. As a bobsleigh player, I've noticed things on maps that just doesn't work and it's been done way too many times. And one of these things is having a bobsleigh start block and then a booster right in front of it. This never works because you always get different speeds on that booster. Don't ask me why, but you can just see how inconsistent this booster is with the speed it's giving me. So if you want to grind a map like this to get a good time, you basically have to start over and over and over again till you get to one of those good starts, which is very frustrating. So if you want to map bobsleigh, never do this. And another thing I noticed while making my 3 minute map the other day is that when you're no steer on bobsleigh, just don't steer at all. If you steer while being in bobsleigh, you will just be slower if you haven't enough. So just let go of your steering and let the car do its thing. And another thing is that, it's something I talked about a lot on this channel, in general, and that is that when you're under 400 speed on bobsleigh, it's faster to use action key 4, which equals 80% steering. So when you're over 400 speed again, you can just take off your action key and full steer in the bobsleigh, and it will be faster. It's a little bit unclear when to turn off the action key, if it's on 400 speed or if it's 430 speed, it's a little bit unclear, but I just stick to the 400 rule. And here's a bonus tip, if the start of a map is straight bobsleigh, you can go out to the side and then wiggle your way inwards to get a better speed into the first bobsleigh turn. This can be a little bit hard, but if you really want to do it and go for a being a good bobsleigh player, you need to learn this trick. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is that... Give Bob some love. He's sitting in a corner, he's crying, everyone's hating on him. He just wants some love, okay? So, Chakmina community, give Bob some love. He's sitting over in the corner right now, and he's crying because everyone's hating on him, okay? Give him some space, give him some time, and I'm sure you guys will love him. But Tech on the other hand though, he can sit over there. <sighs> Take a seat, brother. No one likes you, man. Do people actually enjoy Tech? I'm curious. Because I cannot play Tech. It does not work in my brain. No, but seriously though, I think the reason why people don't like Bobsa that much is because people don't play it enough. If they just give it some time, I'm sure they will enjoy it, and it's very satisfying when you get it right. And with all this being said, I hope you guys know a lot more about Bobsa now than you did before, and I hope you guys have a good day or night, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Catch out.